And this fucking light is like super long. Uh, today, I want to talk about the tragedy that happened at the uh, LAX airport. For those of y'all who don't know, pretty sure everybody knows that there was a fucking uh, a shooting up there. And uh, there's a couple of videos on YouTube showing the crowd, uh, you know, kind of panicking as soon as they heard gunshots. From what I see, the police arrived, then fucking, they were telling everybody to calm down, lay on the ground, don't move. Next thing you know, you hear gunshots, and all of a sudden the crowd just started panicking and they started hauling ass. They, they just started running out of fear. So apparently, this one guy, I don't know how many guys was involved, but this guy went to the airport with a fucking gun. And as soon as he got to the fucking checkpoint, which he should have known he was going to get caught, he should have fucking known he gets caught. And uh, they find it, and the guy pulls out and fires. And he killed the guy. He killed one of the one of the people there. Now God bless that man's family who lost his life over this bullshit. But this goes to show us what kind of fucking world do we live in. You know, when I when I heard about this right yesterday, I th you know I kind of thought about this really hard. You know what I mean? It's like wow, this guy he, he must have knew he had to have known that that this was what he was going to do today. Cause there's no way in their right mind. He's gonna carry a fucking gun to the fucking airport and know their ass ain't gonna get fucking caught. That was just like a suicide mission. So, I'm reading this fucking article, more news about this, about this tragedy, and they did an investigation on this guy. And you know what? They said he was a victim of bullying. He was fucking, uh, bullied when he was in high school. He said he was quiet, man. Good kid. Not good kid, but, you know, not really like a, a person you would think that would do something like this. So, what really could have pushed this guy in the, over the edge to fucking do something like this? Makes me wonder, was it really his fault that this happened? That he killed somebody. He did this shit out of fucking, out of fucking uh, anger of what happened to him. As he was growing the fuck up. And to me, people, that's kind of sad, man. I mean, people should not bully any motherfucking body. If anyone come bullies me, I don't give a fuck. That shit is just not gonna fucking work. You know what I'm saying? Bullying is fucking for pussies, man. People bully knowing people won't go over the edge to fucking do something like what this kid did. Cause I guarantee you, when they was bullying this guy, I'm pretty sure he wanted to fucking shoot their ass dead. Cause people don't like that shit. You know what I'm saying? Trying to dehumanize them, fucking. Make them feel like shit. Ridicule them, laugh at them, pick at them. You know what I'm saying? Knowing that you know you can go but so far. It's just like he's just like the enemy. That's not fucking right, man. If we boys out there, you just a bunch of pussy, bitch ass, sorry ass motherfuckers. You little shit talkers. 
you know, like to fucking pick on like innocent people who don't really deserve it. Fuck you. You know, but that doesn't take him out of the picture for being wrong on what he did. No one deserves to take the law into their own fucking hands and kill a motherfucker. No, I'm sorry. That's just going too out and right, high, high and right for me. So, it's pretty fucking sad, man. Sad story. A lot of people got injured at the airport for the fucking, just, just running around and fucking in panic. People getting trampled and shit. Fucking drama, man. You know, I'll put a link down in the description to some information about this case, about what the fuck happened here. You know? But yeah, this is totally fucked up. Yeah. So, I mean, tell me, guys, what would you do? If you were being fucking bullied, you know what I'm saying? If you was a victim of bullying, of being bullied, what would you do? Or, you know what I'm saying? What advice do you have for people who are getting fucking bullied? Because I think this all could, this whole situation could have been avoided if this guy wasn't fucked with as a as a, a kid. I think that alleviated some of this, this bullshit that made him do what he did. You know. So what would you what would you do? And also, would you have reacted the same way they did at the airport? You know, I'll, I'll also put a link to that a link to that video where it has those guys just fucking running all the fuck around and shit. That shit went viral too. That shit was on a, that shit that, that that video went on the news. I seen that shit on a couple of videos today. But uh, yeah, would you react the same way? Would you fucking just panic and just ran and just risk? Tramming over, over other motherfuckers to save your ass? Or you, did you really think you wasn't safe? But yeah, that's all I really want to talk about today. On this vlog. Because, you know, what really set me off was I heard that this guy was bullied as a, as a high schooler. And that right there is sad, you know. That is sad. So, people need to stop that shit, man. People need to grow a set of balls and stop fucking fucking people like that. That shit just causes nothing but fucking karma and drama. And nobody needs to watch that shit. But that's all I have, man. Got my folks ride safe. Enjoy your weekend. This guy at the airport sure fucked up people's weekends. You know, excuse me for my speech. I know I'm not the best speaker. But yeah, enjoy your weekend, be happy, enjoy life, and uh, I'm going to see y'all on my next video. Peace.